Well, of course, what your Facebook page shows mm. says a lot about you, but we need to all realize it could even make or break you when it comes to getting a job. 70% of employers say they check out their applicants on social media. Action 9's Jason Stujanki has a good reminder tonight about thinking before you post, and in case you don't, how to clean up the aftermath. So I have a Facebook account. I also have a Twitter account, LinkedIn, um, and Snapchat. Amberly Hoffman is a college freshman with a job and an internship. But it's only recently that I've been thinking about it in terms of like, what am I posting, things like that. She's right to be concerned about how social media could impact her career. Check out these numbers from a poll of hiring managers. 70% use social media to screen job candidates. 54% say social media content has caused them to reject someone. Matthew Sliver owns a creative consulting group and says social media always comes into play in hiring. The first thing I absolutely do is check their Instagram. Red flags include risque posts, drinking and partying pics, and anything too political. You would be really, really surprised the stupid stuff that people put on their social media. It will prevent you from getting a job, right? It absolutely will. But don't delete everything. 57% of employers are less likely to consider you if you don't have social media. Experts recommend you Google your own name. See what comes up. If you can, delete anything inappropriate. If you can't, ask the company directly to delete it. Keep in mind, some groups archive the internet, and a search of your name on the site Wayback Machine may produce posts you've forgotten about. Bryson Burlong, who's already graduated, says he's never done anything crazy on social media, but... I might have been, let's say, why did I do that, you know? He and Amberly Hoffman hope employers look at them not just their posts. The people that we are in our personal lives are not always the people we are in our professional lives. And so um, there is a you know, certain unfairness to that. If the damage is already done, you can save face during a job interview. Just acknowledge it was something done a long time ago and that it doesn't reflect who you are now. In the newsroom, Jason Stujanki, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.